Applying for access to health and care data is complex. There, I said it. It can feel like you're entering another world or battling to learn a whole new language. And the acronyms. The health and social care sector does love an acronym. And why does it sometimes feel like getting access to data is, at best, time-consuming and, at worst, downright frustrating? Well, that's why I'm here talking to you. Hopefully, I can provide a helping hand that goes some way to demystifying the application process. So, without further ado, let's get this started. When individuals receive health and social care, they share personal and sensitive information in order to receive the help they need. But the same data can also be vital for powering research into new treatments, planning services for the future, and ultimately improving many patients' lives. So when data access is requested for these uses, we need to ensure that an individual's expectation of privacy is recognised, and that we are sharing the data legally, fairly and safely. Patient data is collected by thousands of institutions around the country, clinics, hospitals, other NHS organisations and public health agencies. When these data custodians share information that can or could identify an individual, they have legal responsibilities to ensure the data they share is being used appropriately. Data protection legislation like GDPR and the Data Protection Act protects any data that could lead to an individual being identified. When an individual shares information that can identify them in the context of their health and social care, they are owed an additional protection in law. This is known as a common law duty of confidentiality. Patients trust that the private nature of the information will be respected and that it will only be used in ways they would reasonably expect. All well and good, but how does knowing this help you to access the health and care data you need? Custodians want to support data applications that will benefit patients and the public, but they are legally required to check and agree that data protection laws and the duty of confidentiality are being met wherever they apply. Satisfying just one is not enough, and depending on the type of project, there will be other legal requirements. While custodians will assess applications against all the relevant legal requirements, each organisation will have its own process and time frame for doing this. To put it simply, each custodian has to check that the data will only be used in ways that are clear, legal, fair and safe. For complex projects, this check can take time, and if they are unsure about any of these requirements, then your application may not be approved. OK, so what can you do to improve your chances of accessing the data you need? When you're designing your projects, and crucially before you even make a request for access, it is vital you leave enough time to research the dataset, understand the permissions you will need, and to find out from the custodian whether the data will be suitable and accessible for the purpose you require. You should design your project to minimise any impact on patient privacy, and only apply for data that is absolutely necessary for the purposes of your project. Setting aside time to complete this initial phase will benefit you in the long run, as you will avoid having to rewrite your application, or worse still, revise your project at a later date. Let's move on to the actual application. A good application will explain exactly and in detail which data you need, why you need it, how it will be used, and by whom. Most importantly, you need to show how you have minimised the impact on patients' privacy and explain the public benefit you intend to achieve which brings us back to the all-important data protection legislation and the duty of confidentiality. All custodians will ask about each of these specifically and review your answers to ensure you have addressed these requirements in full. You will also need to develop public-facing transparency information that gives a clear picture to patients of how and why their data is being used, their rights and who they can contact. Again, there are extensive legal requirements around this transparency information and you may be asked to submit it for review. Your own organisation or research sponsor may have experts who can help you navigate through the data access requirements and language. This might be a Caldicott guardian, data protection officer or information governance expert. So, to sum up, the extra time you spend at the beginning of the data application process to understand the data sets, to have a clear idea of the types of permissions you need, and to develop robust applications, will improve your chances of completing your project successfully. While it may at times seem like a battle to understand this complex world, ultimately custodians want to help you meet your commitments, and everyone has the best interests of patients and the public at heart. <laughs>